It's not uncommon that I work with clients who struggle to achieve goals. If you're frustrated with this same problem, then here are four steps to successful goal achievement. Step number one, establish your goals. Here are six tips. Tip number one, strive to create a clear vision of what you'd like to achieve. As Yogi Bear, the great catcher for the New York Yankees once said, if you don't know where you're going, you'll end up someplace else. Tip number two, you can create short-term goals, medium-term goals, and long-term goals. For example, I would like to lose four pounds in one month, 30 pounds in one year, and maintain that weight for five years. Tip number three, make sure your goals do not contradict each other. For example, if one goal is to have an active vacation with plenty of exercise to lose weight while another goal for the same vacation is to visit your favorite all-you-can-eat buffets, then your goals are in conflict. Tip number four. Make sure your goals are your goals because you're less likely to succeed if they're someone else's goals for you. Tip number five. Make sure your goals are realistic. For example, trying to lose 25 pounds in two weeks is not realistic which leads to discouragement and quitting. Tip number six, make sure your goals are well defined. For example, I wanna lose five pounds in one month is much better than I wanna lose weight. Use the acronym MAPS to create well-defined goals. They should be measurable, attainable, personal, and specific. The motivational speaker Les Brown wrote, your goals are the roadmaps that guide you and show you what is possible for your life. Step number two, make an action plan. Here are eight tips. Tip number one, prioritize your goals by listing them in the order you'd like to address them. Tip number two, address one goal at a time because trying to change everything at once will lead to becoming overwhelmed, discouraged, and quitting. Tip number three, anticipate any barriers to achieving your goals, such as ambivalent feelings about change, lack of knowledge as to how to change, your tendency to procrastinate, or lack of time, money, or transportation necessary for the change, and then create a strategy for managing or overcoming each barrier. Tip number four, break your goal down into the smallest action steps needed to achieve the goal. For example, if you want to lose 25 pounds in six months, your action steps might be, one, keep a log of everything I eat for one week. Two, meet with a nutritionist for education and advice. Three, discuss my new goals with my family and ask for their support. Four, set a date to begin my new eating lifestyle. Five, create my new meal plan for the first week. Six, Go to the grocery store and buy the foods I need. Seven, begin my new eating strategy. Eight, weigh myself once per week at the same time and log my progress. Tip number five, if a step seems overwhelming, break it down into even smaller and more manageable steps, which is a key to successful goal achievement, but not new. The ancient Chinese philosopher Confucius wrote, when it's obvious that the goals cannot be reached, don't adjust the goals, adjust the action steps. Tip number six, build a support system for encouragement, accountability, and motivation, because we all need social supports, especially when trying to change old habits. Tip number seven, work on developing faith in the process. Change is difficult. Thus, it is important that you trust the process of creating a good plan for success. As they say in the 12-step programs, if you work the program, the program will work for you. Tip number eight, to help maintain your motivation, make a list of how your life would be better by achieving your goal, and then read the list daily. The motivational speaker, Dennis Waitley wrote, the secret to productive goal setting is establishing clearly defined goals, writing them down, and then focusing on them several times a day with words, pictures, and emotions as if you've already achieved them. 
Step number three, carry out your action plan. Here are two tips. Tip number one, plan a specific timetable to achieve each small step. For example, I will complete my food log next Sunday. I will see the nutritionist within two weeks. I will create my new meal plan within one week of seeing the nutritionist. I will discuss my goals with my family within one week of creating my meal plan. And then continue with specific timelines for each additional step. Tip number two, carry out each step in the proper time frame and be mindful of not allowing yourself to procrastinate or avoid carrying out the steps within the designated time frame. Stick to the program. Step number four, evaluate your efforts. Here are four tips. Tip number one, evaluate your success, but be sure to evaluate your behaviors, not your self-worth. You are a worthwhile person whether you achieve your goal or not. Tip number two, if you achieved your goal, then give yourself a pat on the back and continue doing what works. Tip number three, if you did not achieve your goal, this suggests your goal may have been unrealistic or the steps were too big, or you were not able to manage barriers to success, so you would need to go back and review and revise your plan. Tip number four. If you see a pattern of failing to achieve your goals, then obtain counseling or professional help to assist in uncovering any physical, mental, or emotional barriers to goal achievement. The motivational speaker Tony Robbins wrote, What's talked about is a dream, what's envisioned is exciting, what's planned becomes possible, what's scheduled is real. I wish you the best on your journey to achieving your goals. If you'd like help with goal achievement, then visit my website, serenityonlinetherapy.com, to learn more about the online services I provide. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button, and then subscribe to my channel to hear more from me. And finally, Keep paying attention to your life. Until next time.